What is up, Warrior Attic Crew? Welcome back to level four of our core intensive series. This one's gonna be a 15 minute intensive practice. My name is Jacob Mellish, or Surf Yogi Jacob. I'm a professional surfer and a global brand warrior for Warrior Addict. And I'm really excited to share with you this final core intensive video. We're gonna bring the heat, we're gonna bring the sweat. And as I mentioned before in the previous video, it's gonna be really important as we dive into this final video and we explore our limitation of strength to have this mindset of playfulness, playing with the sensations, playing with how much you can do and try to be okay with what you can't do because there might be a couple things in this one that maybe you can't. But I hope that you've built up, you've done level one, level two, level three, until you felt really comfortable with level three, and now you're ready to smash out this final level four. Let's get started in a standing position for today. We're gonna get a little bit more life going into this practice. So we'll add core intensity, some uh, core drills, some yoga movements to stretch and open out the body, but as well as some really playful, fun movements to, to feel the energy of what a full yoga practice can give you. So come to a standing position. I'm gonna start out with my favorite warm-up. Whenever I practice any movement, whether it's surfing, whether it's yoga, whether it's a little gym session, a run, I really love to do this one to bring awareness into the body. And the best way I feel like this works is by just shaking. So bring your feet to hip width distance apart. Keep the soles of the feet flat onto the floor and just start to bend and straighten your legs so you make this vibration or the shaking throughout every part of your body. And see how much you can relax into it. So the idea here is that you move your body, you shake your body, and you feel every part of your body shaking. So you can feel the face, and we're gonna be here for quite a, quite a little while. Let me just keep it going about the first three to four minutes of the practice and we'll do some different variations of, of shaking as well. But again, see if you can maybe even close down your eyes and try to move your body to feel shaking through every part. It's like you're shaking or waking up life into every cell of your body. And when we stop in a moment, you'll be able to feel this beautiful vibration to feel the contrast of movement and then to stillness. And then we'll use that embodied uh, feeling from the shaking and we'll start to, to move into this practice feeling really present, really playful, really loose, uh, not taking on any stress or, or holding tight into anything that might have happened before coming to this practice. So from here you can get a little bit more active just lifting and lowering your heels. I'm playing with that shaking action. Then you're going to start to jump on the spot. So from here, see if you can actually seal your lips and start to breathe in and out of your nose, bringing conscious awareness to your breath. And again, try to get a little bit playful with it. Still seeing if you can keep your body really relaxed. So the fingers are floppy. Your jaw is relaxed. Lips are gently sealed. And there's this essence of playing already. If you got some music, I recommend putting it on for this practice, anything that you're into, anything that's gonna help you find that little more, that little bit more energy as we're gonna need it in this class. So again, we'll be here for about another 10 breaths. If you got some music, have a little, a little boogie with it, but keep the action of shaking. So it's still very loose. There's no robot dance moves, but it's all floppy, nice and easy. Just a couple more breaths, keep shaking, keep softening. And then very slowly come into stillness. Feet hip width distance, lift up all 10 toes, feel the feet grounding to the floor. Neutralize your spine, close your eyes and feel this connection of the feet grounding down and the crown of the head reaching up nice and tall. 
Begin to tone the legs as you squeeze the glutes and you feel your whole body activating to keep you stable and balanced in the standing position. Again, seal the lips and really start to connect to each breath. And we'll move into a really nice spinal mobility warm up, and then from there, we'll start to get powered up into the midline. So push the hands at the lower back, move the hips forward, lift the chin up, and take a full inhalation. As you exhale, bend the knees, curl down, round through your spine, and then hold ragdoll pose for three full breaths at the bottom. So fill up your body as you inhale, and then open your mouth, exhale all the air. Try to lift up all 10 toes, breathe in slowly. And through your nose, exhale fully, feeling the feet grounding down, all four corners. And try not to stress out your toes either, maybe even keep them lifted. Or release tension from your head, take one more breath. And then start to lift your chin, bend the knees, feel your, your spine back bending as much as possible. And then leading with your chin, then the chest, then the pelvis, the hips, back bend as you slowly begin to snake your spine down. Exhale fully, inhale as you come on up, and then exhale, roll back down. And this is such a beautiful way of, again, tuning your awareness in, mobilizing the spine, the center of the body. And then as we begin to move, you will have the space, this openness through the rest of your body. It really does make a difference. At the bottom, halfway lift, inhale, lengthen your spine, bring the fingers to the floor to support you. And I know some of you might be a little tighter, so feel free to bend the knees as much as you need to so you can neutralize in your spine. Throughout the class, feel free to bend the knees as much as you like. Place the hands down to the floor, push the floor away, and then rock up onto the tippy toes, and then slowly walk the hands back, or the, the knees back, tabletop position. With, where, with bearing weight into our wrists quite a bit into the class, it's gonna be really relevant to just take a moment to stretch them out. Place the fingers to face backwards, and then just start to simply pad into the palms of your hands. As you bend one elbow, the other, if it feels okay, you can even think about lifting the heels of your hands whilst bending the elbows to feel this real nice solid opening through the wrist. But please take it nice and easy, get playful, make sure all these movements, they feel good and there's no pain. I'll give you another breath here. Fingers face back forward. From there, tuck the toes behind you, push into downward facing dog. Take a full inhale through your nose. And then open your mouth and exhale. Hover right foot where it is. This is where we start to get strong in the core. Hover left foot where it is. Gently place it down in front. See if you can actually land first your heel, the outer edge of the foot, the pinky toe side, and then the big toe side. Once you feel quite compressed and you can't walk the toes any further forward, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, place the hands back down to the floor. Rock forward onto the tippy toes. If you are struggling, bend the knees slightly and then tap your right toe, your left toes to your left wrist. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen your spine, find a fully extended spine. As you exhale, hands back down to the floor, right toes, touch the right wrist high up on the left tippy toe. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, let's add on from here. Right toes, right wrist, right knee, right armpit. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands back down to the floor, rock up onto the tippy toes, left toes, left wrist, left knee, left armpit, left heel to the butt, halfway lift, breathe in. Just a couple more rounds like that, feeling super compressed, super tight into the core, hands down, right toes, right wrist, right knee, right armpit, right heel, right butt, lift, push, rock up onto left tippy toes, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, hands ground down to floor, left toes, left wrist, left knee, left armpit, left heel, left butt, right tippy toes, 
halfway lift breathe in we're going two more rounds try to stay with it here if you're feeling a little tight into the wrist you can always stand on your palms roll them out take your time move as you need halfway lift inhale prepare hands to floor push floor away remember bend the knees as much as you might need rock up tippy toes right toes right heel left tippy toes take a little jump as light as you can halfway lift breathe in Exhale, hands down to floor, come up high, tippy toes, squeeze heel to butt, take a little hop, halfway lift, inhale. The final little step here is adding that hop, but try not to hop, but rather to feel this lift up from your core. Take it as easy as far as you like. Hands down to the floor, push the floor away, right side, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale fully. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, ground the palms lower into a chaturanga position and then squeeze your glutes as tight as you can, broaden through your collarbones, pull your navel in and up. Inhale, upward facing dog if you're still with me. Exhale, return back to your chaturanga. Hover the chest and the chin, and then keep it nice and low, all the way back into downward facing dog. Whew. Inhale, hover right foot, big step forward, left foot, big step forward. Top of the mat, inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold forward, dive down. Rise the arms, reach on up, inhale. Hands to the center of your heart, exhale. Okay, using that movement, we'll work into another core drill. Um, same thing, fire up the body, inhale, reach your arms up, squeeze glutes, stretch tall. Exhale, forward bend, dive down. Bend your knees as you like, remember that. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands down. Right toes, right wrist, right heel to butt. Left toes hop back this time. You're going to make your way to the back of your mat, just nice and slow. And then maybe as you get a bit more playful, you can think about how this, this movement could help you eventually to lift up to something like handstand. And whether you're interested in doing that or not, it's such a great way of using a simple exercise to build such extreme strength into the body. And we do a very similar thing with both legs forward and you'll see how you can apply this into chaturanga as you jump or step on back. So halfway lift, hands down. I recommend starting with knees touching the chest, hands forward. You push into the palms, come up high onto the tippy toes, hips high, and then without jumping, move from pointed ballerina toes to dorsal flex toes. So halfway lift, inhale. You got about two or three more to the top of your mat. Push into the floor, lean forward, tippy toes, touch toes to rest. And might be a little bit more, something like this. Maybe you're dragging the feet, that's cool too. But try your best to get the hips up high, to straighten the legs, and then to lightly land the feet forward. Okay, from here, halfway lift, inhale. You start with that same movement, high up on the tippy toes, and then you jump back, chaturanga, exhale. The weight goes forward, upward facing dog, breathe in, and then downward facing dog, breathe out. Let's rise the left leg to the sky, inhale. Draw the left knee into the left armpit, heel to butt, push the floor away, and then slowly slide the knee down to the wrist. Inhale, take a moment here. Regroup, regather. Breathe, exhale, tuck back toes, squeeze knee back up, armpit, add a little push up, inhale, rise left leg, three legged dog. Exhale, draw the left knee as high up into the right armpit, and then extend the leg out to the side. Inhale, rise the right arm, if you're struggling, keep it down, and see if you can lift up through the left leg. 10 pulses forward, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, 
One right hand down, three-legged dog inhale. Feel the side obliques live and active. Exhale, lightly, slowly step the foot through. High crescent lunge, breathe in. Exhale, single leg to Dasana. Draw the right knee as tight as you can into the chest. Stand tall. Inhale, slowly step back. Lower the back knee. Arms rise. Exhale, draw the knee high up into the chest. Point the toes. You'll feel the core activating here. Try a couple more times. Staying fully balanced, fully soft. Not clunking the knees down. Moving up with control for three. For two, and one. Slowly step back, really slow. Imagine there's a cute little mouse behind the toes and you don't want to squish them. Well, there's lots, lots of mice, so there's no other option but to land the foot. <laughs> High crescent lunge, inhale. Please don't stand on any mice. <laughs> Warrior two, exhale, open out to the side. Let's find full strength here. Reach through the arms, pull the abdomen in, lunge forward. Try not lean forward, it's such a common thing to lean into it. Try to keep everything nice and tall. Slowly make your way into a goddess squat or horse pose if you want to think about it more masculine, in a more masculine way. Slowly begin to stand up, interlace the hands behind your head. Let's move into the sequence. Right knee bent, left leg straightens to center. Left knee bends, right leg straightens to center. Now very slowly, same thing. Come up on the left big toe, hover the left foot. Slowly draw left knee into chest. Connect the knee to the elbow, stand tall. And then see if you can reverse that. Toe lands, lightly, squat down to the other side. Hover if you can first, then begin to bring the knee up nice and high. Stand tall, squeeze elbow to thigh. And then slowly as you can, reverse that back down. To go a little bit further, squat a little lower, keep the knees tracking out wide. Control the moment you lift up. Squeeze inner thigh to elbow. Straighten leg to the side. Bend. Swap elbow to outside. Push two points together. Rotate. And then slowly step it back again. Core starting to really feel alive. Whole body working as one connected unit. Right big toe. Stand up. Squeeze. Straighten, center, swap, Woo. squeeze, step back, got a squat, one more round. <sighs> Stay with me, you got this. Try your best wherever you are. Inhale to a star position. Exhale, come into Skandasana squat. Bend the right knee straight and left. Remember, if you're struggling with the squat, be higher up. Push into outer edge of left foot, right palm grounds down. Remember this from our previous series. Right hand to floor, right knee to right arm. Squeeze up. Left hand comes down. Maybe you can do a slow movement up into Bakasana or slowly slide left foot, then lift the heel up. As smoothly as you can, return back. Slow motion, both hands frame the left foot, step back, high plank. Let's move down to forearms, right forearm down. Try not swing the hips, left forearm down. Right hand, left hand. Right forearm, left forearm. Left hand, right hand. Right forearm, left forearm, left forearm, right hand, left hand, <laughs> right, left, slowly, keep going on your own.
one more round. Downward facing dog. Inhale, rise the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right armpit. Inhale, slowly lower down to the wrist. Pause a moment, catch your breath back. Full inhale. Exhale, squeeze it right back up to the armpit again. Inhale, three-legged dog, rise the leg to sky. Exhale, right knee to left armpit. Slowly extend the foot out. Inhale, rise the left arm. Push into the outer edge of the left foot. Fall in triangle. Core feels alive the moment you hover the right foot. You go 10 times, 10, 9, 8. Little pulses for 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Left hand to floor. Right leg rises up to the sky. Gently place the foot between your hands. Rise on up, high crescent lunge. Woo, stay strong. Exhale, single leg to dasana. Squeeze the knee to the chest, find your balance. Nice and tight. And then slow motion, step back. Lower knee. Inhale, lunge hips forward, lift hard up. Exhale, slowly. Knee to chest for five, four, three, two, last one, knee to chest. Now slowly begin to step the foot back. You've got it. Bend the right knee. Find your balance. Find your stability. Land gently the back toes behind you. High crescent lunge. Warrior two, you open to the side. Push into outer edge of back foot. Stretch the fingers forward. Lunge into the front knee. Star position, inhalation, reach up. Into your horse squat, I'm gonna turn around to face you guys. Bend the knees, hands to the thighs. Let's do something a little different here. Lift the chest, try not lean forward. Belly ribs in, track the knees wide. If you can, ground the feet, lift all 10 toes. Interlace hands behind your head. Again, pull ribs and navel in. Lift through the chest and then slowly bring the right elbow to the right knee. And then back up to center. Once again, feeling the side obliques, feeling the core, inhale to center. Exhale. See if you can stay really grounded through the feet. Really strong and active into your core. So you're not arching out through the spine, but you're trying to move through the path of the most resistance. And that resistance is then turned into strength. Let's go, just a few more each side. One. Two, three, four. Release into your star position. Full inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, wide legs, dive down. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, skandhasana, straighten the right leg, bend the left leg, squat on down. Same options as before, funky arm balance, push into outer edge of foot, slowly lift up toes, squeeze heel to butt, maybe you can slow and steady place both feet down, slide feet forward, or maybe you can even slide on up, bakhasana, or take a little cheeky hop if you're thinking about it. Squeeze heels to butt, nice and tight, ground the fingers to the floor, lift the chest, slowly as you can, Smoother than me, hopefully come back skandhasana. And then move hands back to the top of your mat. High plank position. Slow and steady, lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Chaturanga, chest and chin low to the floor. Keep it low, downward facing dog. Let's get a little bit more life going here. 
High plank, inhale, right knee, right armpit. High plank. Left knee, try to use your breath. Let's go, a couple more. One more each side. Knee squeezes up high. Start to run on the spot for five, four, three, two, five little quick push-ups. One, two, let's bring the heat. Three, four, five, squeeze glutes, push back, downward facing dog. Let's flow those movements. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee, left arm push. Inhale, the knee goes down to the wrist, stay with me. Exhale, squeeze it back up. Three-legged dog, inhale, rise the left leg. Exhale, fall in triangle, take it across your body. Maybe don't even let the foot land for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slow and steady, right hand down, three-legged dog. Exhale, place the foot between your hands, lightly high lunge. This time, knee to chair, slowly straighten leg. Pull the ribs and the belly in, knee back to chest, slowly land back down. This time, hover the back knee, hook the thumbs, reach on up. Exhale, knee to chest, ribs, belly in, straighten leg. Slowly step it back with control. Let's go just one more. Slow step back, high crescent lunge. To get the core involved into aeroplane torso, adding the arms forward, one long line from big toe or heel of back foot all the way to finger. Arms back and windmill your right arm open, warrior two, into reverse warrior. Enjoy a side body release. From here, Extended side angle, left elbow goes to left thigh, right arm stretches forward, open the chest up. Breathe slowly, breathe fully. Side stretch the left arm forward. Keep breathing, spin the heart up to the sky, stay with it, stay strong. Star position, inhale. And then your goddess squat, exhale, squat on down. Let's get a little bit of active movement here again. Right knee or left knee squeezes to chair. One of my favorite core activating squat sequences. Left heel squeezes to butt. You're at a slight angle now. Lean forward. Just think about squeezing left heel to butt. Try to land the knee behind you. Then squeeze knee back into the chair. Left leg goes back out to the side. Squat on down, goddess squat or horse position. Right knee to chair. Lift it up. Squeeze the heel to the butt, extension from your right hip. Land the knee down and then right back up again. Slowly step back, got a squat. Let's keep going, a couple more squat variations. Left knee chest. Figure four, ankle to thigh, squat down, find your balance. Interlace the fingers behind you, lift your chest. Keep your balance, you got this, focus. Slow and steady, left knee back into the chest. Squat it back down, got a squat. Face the toes slightly out, your body moves at an angle. Knee up nice and high to the chest. Figure four, to protect the knee and stabilize the joint, flex the toes back to the shin, squat back down. Maybe you got it, interlace hands behind you, lift chest, squat down, stand back up. Slow and steady. Got a squat, let's keep going. Variation, left knee chest. Left knee goes around like a big karate kick. Kick it out, bend the right knee, stand back up. Let's try that one one more time. Right knee bend, stand back up. Slow motion, starting to feel alive through the body, through the joints, through the core, through the breath, everything working together. Right knee to chest. 
Stay strong. Right leg out to the side. Nice and steady. Spend the left knee. Whew. Let's go one more, just like that. Squat, bend the left knee. Right foot lands back to the center, squat on down. Let's go one more, then moving into a side body core drill. Left knee to chest. Now squeeze the left leg behind the right leg. As tight as you can, bring the left hand towards the floor, but don't place it down. Squeeze the inner thighs, bend the right knee. Land the outer edge of the left foot. Lower the hips, reach the right hand back. Big windmill of the right hand forward, find Vashistasana or side plank, then inhale, lower the left hip to the floor, reach your hands back, take a longer stance if you need. As you exhale, rainbow the right hand forward, lift it up. Let's go five, four, push the floor away, inhale, retract, shoulder goes to ear, hip lands down, control it, for three, two, one right knee, try to lift it up to the sky, face it straight up, right foot lands as controlled as slowly as you can, next to the left hand, come into Malasana squat, squat down. We've worked on Bakasana, I'll give you another variation in a moment, but try once again, Bakasana, knees to elbows, heels to butt, lift the chest forward, stay with it, you got this my friends, you've made it this far. We're level four, you're doing so great. Keep working if you're struggling. The biggest challenge is to learn ways to make it adapt for you. Again, if you wanna take it a little bit further, knees to armpits, you slowly squeeze heels to butt, push floor away, everything tight. Land down as you've had enough, step back. Got a squat, let's go. We got the other side here. Whoo, squat on down. <laughs> right knee to chest, slow motion. Knee goes around. They call this one the dragon twist. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. The right shoulder moves down to the ground as you keep squeezing your inner thighs really tight. Land the outer edge of the right foot as far down as you can. Ground the right palm, inhale. Lower the hips and reach back. Exhale, lift up the hips and reach forward, moving into Vashi Stasana variation or side plank. Inhale, lower. And then exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. That's one, two, three, four. And five, slow motion, left knee goes up, hips go up, land left foot, top of the mat, malasana squat. Let's go, five little froggy hops, hands down, arms straight and hips up. Little cardio jumps, the froggy jumps, if you're scared, you just do a smaller jump and try to land as lightly as you can. Keep your arms strong and straight, Keep the knees squeezing to the chest. You just got two more. Last one. Land down, Malasana. Inhale here. Exhale, slow and steady. Navasana, boat pose. As you inhale, you lower down. And as you exhale, you lift up. Find a sweet spot that works for you. If you're feeling a bit stronger, you can try arms overhead as you lower down. Finding that fully extended position, hollow body shape. If you're feeling super sanely strong, don't give up, don't stop, stay with it. You can try arms overhead, tap the toes. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, hug the knees into your chest. Embrace that fire, that burn. Whew. And let's just keep it moving. Let's keep grooving. Slow and steady, palms down to the floor, straighten the legs to the sky. Go five little pulses. Legs go straight up, no back and forward movement. For five, four, 
three, two, one. Hug the knees into the chest. Are we gonna get the blocks involved? If you don't have blocks, no worries at all. These can be a really wonderful way of working strength into the body, using them as support to help you get stronger. And they, they're there to support you, but the support can actually help you to work a little smarter, a little bit more engaged into the body. Don't worry if you don't have blocks. We've done all these exercises before in the previous classes, but they can be really beneficial for learning these skills. Blocks alongside the body, push the palms down to the floor, lift the hips up to the sky, reverse tabletop. Enjoy a moment. Whew. Heart pushes out the chest, hips keep growing up. And then slowly pull your hips back between the blocks, push the floor away. Maybe for a moment, you can lift the toes. We keep going five. Four. Two. You got this. Let's do a hold. Right knee to chest. Excuse me, left knee to chest. Straight and left leg to the sky. Keep pushing your hips up. Slowly bring it back down. Keep pushing your hips up, right knee to chest. Straighten leg to sky. Lift the hips. Let's go. Five little tricep dips. Let's make it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly legs go back. Toes up for five, four, three, two, one. Land the butt down to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. And forward bend. Soften on down. Take a well deserved little brief moments break. Let's keep working the core. <laughs> That's what we're here for, right? Point the toes. Fingers frame the legs. We go 20 times, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Plant the feet down. Reverse plank or reverse tabletop. Lift your hips up, breathe fully. Woo. Lower the butt down to the floor, come to lie down onto your back. Let's keep it moving and grooving, my friend. You got this, wipe away your, your sweat and let's keep going. Knees to chest, palms down, legs straight and let's go 10 times. 10, nine, eight, straight up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, knees down, cactus shape your arms or T shape your arms, straighten the legs, and then slowly legs to one side, keep the opposite shoulder down. Slow and steady back to center. If you need a modification, bend your knees. Exhale to the side, keep it going. Inhale to center. Exhale to the side, keep your left shoulder down if you're going to your right. Inhale center. Exhale to the other side. Stay focused, you got the center. Swap for four. Three. Two. One, hug the knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug, some big love. And let's just get a little bit playful again. Straight off the back. Rock the feet back. Slowly Navasana. Expand everything as tall as you can. And then rock back. Maybe it feels okay, toes overhead. Navasana, biceps over ears, point the toe. Rock on back. 
for five, four, three, two, one, lie onto your back, plant the feet to the floor, right fingers move to right toes, left fingers move to left toes, just keep it going, 10, 9, 8, lift your head, your neck and your chest up off the floor, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hands onto the center of the thighs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, slide on up, thumb reach the thumb over head, hands back to thighs. Whoo, relax on down. Take a well-deserved moment's break and let's keep going. Whew. Last little push here. If you guys are with me, well done. Let's keep it going. Arms over head, hands to thighs, slide them up. Reach the arms over head, slide them up. Arms over head, slide them up. If you want a little bit more, Try this from Navasana. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees hug to chest. Embrace that fire. Embrace that burn. You can take a little rock side to side. Land the soles of the feet down to the floor. Push the palms of the hands down to the floor. Begin to lift your hips on up to the sky. Breathe slowly and fully in and out of your body. We've done so much uh, life, so much exercise and energy into the core and to the center. Just take a moment to really push your hands down. Maybe interlace the hands and then lift your hips up to the sky. Breathe fully, breathe slowly. We're gonna start to bring things down. Lower the butt to the floor. Lost a little bit of intensity. Rock, get playful. Right side, lift on up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Come on, slowly back. Move on to the other side. Watch out if you have something next to you. Lift everything up for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rock back onto your back. Whoo! Take your final movements into your body. Wipe away your sweat. Take a little sip of water. You've made it to the end of the intensity. Now let's start to take a very well-deserved cool down. Whoo! I'll give you four breaths in any resting position, anyone that's gonna help you feel relaxed and at ease. <sighs> Hug the knees into your chest. Lower both knees to the right. Place your right hand on top of the outer left knee. Reach your left arm over your head. Enjoy a little twist. Relax. See how much you can appreciate, how much you can enjoy each breath as you feel everything calming down, slowing down and softening. Back to center, nice and slow. And then over to the other side. Just enjoy three more breaths. Return to center. Squeeze the knees to the chest. Bring the soles of the feet together. 
Let the knees splay open wide out to the sides. The left hand can rest at the heart. Your right hand at your abdomen. Whew. And just take a couple minutes resting the body. When you're ready, extend the legs, the palms. You guys know how to rest the most effectively. And close your eyes and really take this time to let go, to completely surrender. Thank, give yourself a big, well-deserved inner smile or maybe even outer smile as you lift the corners of your lips. Keep softening the face. And acknowledge your effort. You made it to the end of level four. You put the work into your body, your mind, your focus, your heart, your spirit and soul. You made it. You made it to the end of this core intensive program. So be happy where you're at. Enjoy the feelings, the heartbeat, the, the buzz, the warmth that you created through your muscles and your body and, and honor this, this effort that you put in, this transformation that you've begun. So I'll give you the chance to stay here a little while longer, using this time to rest, explore, meditate, soften, until you're feeling calm and at ease and you let the tension go from the practice. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this four-part series, Core Intensive Journey. I hope you've had as much fun as I have getting so active into the center of the line through playing, and through just putting in the work with hopefully a smile on the face. If you guys, once again, have any questions at all, hit me up, Surf Yogi Jacob, send me videos, send me messages, asking any questions, and hopefully I can help you out. I would love to if I could. Thank you guys so much. Uh, cheers. If, you, if you'd like to uh, follow, like, tag, share, you guys know the drill, um, hashtag WA Core or hashtag warrior addict. Show us your progress. Let's see how you're getting on. Otherwise, again, huge well done to you all. Subscribe. Namaste. Have a great one. I'll catch you guys soon. Blessings.